the spirits are dying. Spyrex is behind this. We should investigate. So how long has it been? Six years? Time sure flies. Come, Fenmont awaits. When man and spirit coexist, dreams and wishes are fulfilled. Such is the life of all who live in Reese and Maxia, where hope springs eternal. The spirits have the power to bring man's wishes to fruition. And in turn, those wishes preserve and protect the spirit's livelihood. Therefore, it could be said that Maxwell, the lord of the spirits, is in fact the guardian of all things. In this world, no known evil exists that could threaten this harmonious cycle. But if one did, perhaps it might lurk in the hearts of men. Hey! Oh! So sorry! Ah! Hey! Sorry! I gotta move. Onward. I sense it up ahead. Whoa! Uh, hi. Just keep quiet, and I won't need to hurt you. Wait, why are you breaking into the lab? What are you... Strange. What part of keep quiet didn't you understand? So, ready to hold your tongue now? <coughs> so much noise. Could you try coughing quietly? What are you doing here anyway? Talk? I dropped something. I was just picking it up, see? 
What are you up to? The guards will be here any second. That's why I need to hurry. And you need to go home. Before they arrest you for trespassing. Yes, the lesser spirits in this area have gone silent as well. That power anomaly we felt when it happened, the one that absorbed the spirits, its source is here. Why do humans persist in seeking power that could destroy the world? They don't need Spyrex to survive. Hmm? Yes, it must be their work. That's my gut reaction anyway. Mind you, it's not just any gut reaction. It's Maxwell's instinct. Isn't that enough? Look, that's enough talk for now. Let's find the Spyrex. Hey, where do you think you're going? Shh. No need to make a scene. Cooperate and I'll go easy on you. Intruder! You're under arrest! Yes, it's certainly a big facility, but we'll find it if we search hard enough. Look at the size of this place. They must be working on something big. Huh? I mustn't relax my guard? Honestly, with all of you around, what is there to... F In here? Quit trying to act calm. It's that girl. Ha <laughs> ha! So you're the visitor I heard about. This guy's no fun. I'll kill you first! <sighs> Run! Rip that pretty face of yours to pieces! <laughs> I prefer you did. Whoa. I told you to go home. Don't tell me you live here. No, of course not. I'm sorry. Uh, uh... Is this the work of the Spyrex? The what -ix? Could he be connected to the disappearance of the lesser spirits? Huh? You're losing me. Disappearing spirits? You really need to go home. Someone might not swoop to your rescue next time you're in trouble. The Spyrex must be somewhere else. Hey, wait! I'm kind of trapped here. If the Professor were with me, they might have let me leave, but... Can I come with you? <laughs> I see. 
If you stick with the person who saved you, then you won't need any more saving. Clever boy. Boy? You don't look that much older than me. My name is Jude Mathis. I'm Mila. Mila Maxwell. My hands are still shaking. And for good reason. You were almost killed. I'm a civilian. Why would she attack me like that? I don't think she's part of Roshigal's army. If she's not a soldier, then what is she doing at a military facility? An ironic question for you or I to ask, don't you think? I see your point. Did you... did you kill her? I'm not sure. I tried to go easy on her, but humans are so fragile. I keep having to tell the Four not to overdo it. I'm not really following you. What's going on? Our Lilium orbs are shining. I've been wondering what this thing is since I set off. My handmaid told me I had to carry it with me. Well, it comes in handy if you face monsters. It gives you the power to fight them. I got one myself when I left home, just in case. So, that's how it works. This is actually my first time developing it, too. I see. So it's a tool that taps into inherent abilities. I imagine that powerless humans never leave home without them. You talk as if you're not human yourself. Mila Maxwell? It must be pretty weird having the same name as the Lord of Spirits. Not at all. We are one and the same. I'm sorry? I am Maxwell, Lord of Spirits. What? Come on, you're totally human. You... look just like a normal woman. I would hope so. That is the form I created for myself. The form you created? So you're that, Maxwell. Lord of Spirits, ruler of elements. You don't believe me? A person claiming to be a spirit? It's a bit much to swallow. Then how do you humans prove your identities to each other? Well, by showing identification, I guess. I have a medical school ID card. Oh. Then I doubt that I'll be able to prove my identity to your satisfaction. <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to apply for a spirit ID card. Is it really okay for me to be following this person? I always wanted to live up to Professor House's expectations, but now he's dead. Hmm. What... what are you doing? I'm cuddling you. Uh... why? I read it in a book. When humans are upset, they feel better when you cuddle them. What book was that? A Mother's Eyes, A Mother's Touch. That sounds like a book about child rearing. I'm not a baby. This technique has no effect on you? Humans are so complicated. <laughs> well, I guess I do feel a little better. Thank you. Hmm? So it does work. What's that? Are you finished here? I assume you had some reason for coming to this place. I was worried because Professor House hadn't come back, but he's... One of the people who died while connected to that machine? Yeah. I can't believe it. The Professor had been so excited about the request from Orda Palace. I see. Hmm? Yes. Yes, I suppose so. Huh? Oh, wait for me! What? Spyrix's weapon. I knew it. The land. 
Lance of Kresnik? That's the name of the sage from the Genesis Age. Huh? What are you doing? Hmm. So this is what humans call irony. Naming this weapon after Kresnik. Listen up. We must destroy that which harms man and spirit. Those are the four great spirits. So that really makes her Maxwell? Take Mila, and then run? Huh? What? What are you trying to do?
You okay? Guess swimming isn't one of your powers, huh? It's not as easy as Undine makes it look. So you really have lost the power of the four great spirits. What are you gonna do now? There's no way you could destroy that device without their power. You have a point. Perhaps if I were to return to Nia Kara. Listen, you've been a great help, Jude. Thank you. You should go home now. Wait! You must be the intruder! If I said I wasn't, would you let me pass? Mila! How foolish, Jude. You should have gone home like I asked. You in cahoots with her? What? Haven't you ever wielded a sword before? Of course. But I always relied on the Four's power to guide my arm. It feels quite different without their help. Come quietly or else. I can't believe I'm doing this! <sighs> What's gotten into me? You saved me again, Jude. Thank you. Listen, you'd better get out of Fenmont while you can. Right. You have my gratitude. The city entrance is always crawling with police. You'd be safer heading to the Sea Haven. Hmm, the Sea Haven. You don't know where it is, do you? This way. <laughs> 